Good afternoon everyone and welcome to the hottest day. Close to the hottest day on record here in England. It is roasting and Mr Mill and Gordon has been in the garden all day. See there's something you don't know about Ali. He's very very competitive when it comes to laying in the sun. I don't really do a lot of laying in the sun and when I do I get a suntan straight away and he gets very very jealous but now he spent a few years being jealous of my tan now he's jealous of how my feet are so he's just sorry to put my feet on the internet although they have been on the internet quite a few times my feet naturally just point a little bit and he's just said to me are you doing that naturally with your feet or are you forcing it and I was like it's just natural they just go like that I mean I can go like that if I want but they're like that so now he's trying to train his feet to do so the same thing. My feet would sit comfortably like this. Yeah. When I get shadows. If I was to go like that, that hurt. It's like straining there. Right. You need to work on your flexibility. that's where you're getting your tan from. Yeah. It's like this, it's in the shade, look. That yeah. one's getting the sun. You know where geezers out there can point their toes like that? <laughs> comfortably. <laughs> We are having a very, very relaxing day. Well, I was saying that. I have been shooting all morning. Yeah, I've literally been out here for two seconds. Actually, I need to get some more SPF on as well. Okay, I'm gonna go get some SPF, hold on. This is our drawer of SPF and all of our, what are they called? Medicines and stuff. I think this is the one that Ali likes, the Shiseido 50 Plus, because it's super easy to put on. But I've been using the Cordially 30, because this smells amazing. It smells so nice, but we've got loads of different ones in here. But on my face, I will show you what I've got on my face because it's not in this drawer. My mound of beauty products. This is the SPF that I've been using on my face. This is the Elizabeth Arden Great 8. I went to the launch of this at, what was it, Wimbledon. And I love it. It's so nice and lightweight. It's not thick. It doesn't feel heavy on your face. It also doesn't go like white on your skin. And it smells so nice. It's not like a sickly smell. So I've got that on my little boat race at the moment, protecting me. I don't know where my Elizabeth Arden stick is though. I usually use that to protect my top lip and these bits because I've got like podgy cheeks and I get like a lot of sun here. So I need to find my stick, but I don't know where it is. The lads are working very hard on the house today. It is incredibly hot, like hotter than I think I've ever experienced. Oh, see how bright it is there. Oh, and I forgot my SPF. I went in there for the SPF and I forgot it. It's too busy telling you guys about it. I went for the cordially one because it smells, oh, delicious. Like a mix of fig and coconut. It's so nice. It's so funny the way my brain works. It says hydration, luminous tan, and I read that as hummus. <laughs> little bit, little bit of vitamin D. I reckon on ratio, I do about five hours to your one hour. Yeah, <laughs> that's so true. And we always get questions why we don't have a pool at our house whenever it gets to this time of year, and we actually. What we wanted a house that didn't have a pool because there's hardly any summer here in England and so we'd be paying loads of money to have a heated pool that we just basically never used and whenever we go on like trips and stuff and there's a hot tub I literally never get in it yeah. do you remember when we went to Wales and we were like no we've got to have a hot tub never got in it I mean it was winter and it was New Year's the but the idea of these things is lovely but the practical yeah. aspect of it yeah, so this Although, is my swimming pool. <laughs> I would like to think that um, if we had a pool that we would get into like a routine of maybe going for a morning swim. Oh, I'd love that. My grandma at... used to do that every morning yeah. when she had a pool. When I watch like Australian vloggers and stuff, they would all like get out of bed and just go and jump in their swimming pool. And yeah. Like, that looks so refreshing. But then they live in Australia. I know, but you, you get what I'm saying, like. Yeah. Get into a routine, maybe. Well, maybe we could have a plunge pool. It's good for your shoulders as well, swimming. Oh yeah, I'm always looking to, to build on the old shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> but as I was saying, this is my swimming pool. This keeps me nice and cool. <laughs> it's all I need. Good morning, everyone. I think I left you yesterday when we were in the garden. I think that's all I spoke to you yesterday. It was the hottest day of the year and one of the hottest days on record. Oh my God, I need lip balm so badly. Hold on. <laughs> Yeah, so we've got a full house today, it's Friday. I need to go and have a shower because I've been up today, I've worked out. My PT is finally back from his bloody holidays. He's literally had like so many holidays. I'm like, 
but um, it was actually a really good workout today and I think my arms are going to kill. You can hear the workmen in the house. But they're sort of finishing off today in the house, so we're gonna be getting the house back, which is great. I'm gonna be giving the hallways a bit of a zhuzh and a bit of a clean and just kind of getting on top of things and making it nice again, although obviously we still need to have the last few coats of paint put on the walls to just blend everything in. It is gonna look mostly finished today, which will... <laughs> which will signal the end of what was a project that started in April. Can you believe that this started in April and it has made such a difference. I think when you see it all finished, you're gonna really understand. Well, I think a lot of you understand why I did it now. It was just a bit of a nothing area. You couldn't really do much with that hallway because it's got so many twists and turns, so many levels, and it was just, yeah, it was just, just a bit nothingy, but now it's got some real, like, as we've been saying, it's got a, a good wow factor. So that is going to be the sort of itinerary of today. I've got a net a porte order to unbox with you because I did some shopping on net a porte and I was just feeling a little bit like meh with my wardrobe. So I need to have a clear out of my wardrobe and I need to send some pieces to Smartworks. I've already got one bag, but I think I've got like a load of other stuff that I can send as well. I also want to send two handbags to Smartworks and the handbags that I said that I would never like give away or sell because they were quite like a momentous thing but I think that Smartworks is like the right cause for these handbags to go to so that's what I'm gonna do I'm just waiting for Ali to get out of the shower and then I'm gonna get ready yesterday as well in the evening we went and shot in the cornfields which was so nice it was just so hot though so I was just getting hot and bothered and that's why I didn't really speak to you guys the rest of the day and then Ali had a bright idea <laughs> to sleep downstairs in the basement and the basement is as it stands the coolest place in our house as in temperature wise i did think that that was a really good idea but the reality was actually not that great it was very very uncomfortable sitting on those sofas in the games room is great however sleeping on it not so much so yeah i don't think we'll be doing that again but it has cooled down a lot today which is lovely the temperature's dropped so much it's nice and fresh so we've opened up the house to change all the air. I had to open up all of my cupboards because it was so warm in my cupboards. I've had a bit of a spruce up and a tidy up, although you're seeing the remnants of me doing that there. And yeah, so it's gonna be a good little day today, a good little weekend. And I'm looking forward to getting my house back though. As much as I love the work, I know I always say that I love the work going on. It is bloody lovely to be getting my house back today and I'm gonna blitz those hallways you have no idea like they are going to be spick and span so we're going to do that together get everything organized good stuff makeup and hair is done for the day i need to i don't know if i've already said this to you but i need to remember to go shorter whenever i go and see there's pina and steven because I, I just turn into the biggest wuss when i get my hair done and i need to stop so next time i'm going shorter just so it's just off my shoulders so that it doesn't like bunch up but i've gone for my little signature ghd waves which looks so, look at my little highlights oh this pina just does it so well so i've also oh, i'm just to show you that i've got a slightly new lip combination on i have swapped out my beloved spice lip liner for the moment could it be replaced who knows when i went to liberty the other day i bought two lip liners and this is chestnut under my by terry velvet rouge and I bloody love it. I bloody love it. So very, very happy with that. I need to get into this net porte box with you. So I think we're gonna do that next. And I have just heard the sound of the drill, but I have just heard that the hallways are finished and they're now down in the basement, finishing off that one. So hopefully later on today, we can start getting the house back in order. I can't wait. I was just thinking I was gonna start cleaning with you. And then I thought, no, I need to open my net porte box with you. And then I realized I hadn't drank enough water today. I'm literally like, so I'm gonna have some icy cold water and then we'll get cracking with the day because I've not quite got there yet. <laughs> Okie okay, dokie, okay, okay. what was that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in my dressing room now and I've also been wanting to say to you because it is official. I mean, I haven't done my tour of here yet, but this room is full. 
it's completely full. So I have come to the realization that I need to operate a better process of when I'm shopping. So I think I mentioned in the Smartworks video that I had a big bag to send down to them, but I'm going to continue donating and there will be some really nice things going in. I've got two handbags I need to get out to go with the stuff that is gonna be sent down to them because we've been sorting that out today. And I'll show you those two handbags, but I will also be donating as much as I possibly can to them. So things that are obviously workwear appropriate, I'll be sending down. There will be things, there will be things that I possibly can't send down. I can't like, I've spent probably thousands on and I need to at least try to resell it first. But my mid-tier stuff, if it's workwear appropriate, it will be sent. Oh my God, I'm just eyeing up my carpet. Oh. How gorgeous does that look? But yeah, it will be sent down. So, you know, I've got a lot of Karen Millen stuff in there. There's some Reese stuff in there, things like that. I'm gonna do my best to donate and send down to them. It will help me with keeping things fresh and not just hoarding stuff, but also giving to a good cause, helping with sustainability. Cause what they're operating there, I love it. It's like, it's sustainable, it's inclusive and it's empowering and I love that. So yeah, I'm gonna do my best to continue doing that. So obviously with this haul and with my last video as well that I did, I obviously bought stuff in Liberty, stuff has to go. So I'll show you the items that I've got new in and then I'll clear out the items that I'm gonna take as well. And then it is going to be operation clear up. Oh my gosh, my stairs are filthy. I can probably start on this floor and I also think that I'm going to have to paint the radiator cover, just the bottom bit because it's been like custom, it's been customized and it's gonna be customized some more, but we're gonna to get to that point anyway. So, in here, I always go for the eco, I think you can come down. That is not a good spot. You can go in here. Can you go there? That works better. <laughs> we got there in the end. So yeah, I always opt for the eco packaging from wherever I can. Netta Porte and Louise Villaroma both offer this as a option. So I did some order. Now this isn't your typical summery stuff, but I wanted to buy some items that I had needed to get more of for a while. So if you remember at New Year's, I purchased the, I think it's called Safia, 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 I don't know. But it was like a lilac trouser suit. I also wore it when I was in Switzerland with Londines. They are like the nicest flared trousers that they do. So I wanted to get some more. I got a black pair for like smartness and I can put these with my Balmain jacket. So it's sort of like a trouser suit, but with my style. I'm such a flared person. I mean, I need to add this to my list of things my husband hates, but yeah, he doesn't like flares on me, but I love flares on me, so I continue to buy more. But yeah, these will go really nicely with both my Balmain jackets. They'll also just go nicely with tops as well, when maybe I just want to wear like a floaty top. These will look so cute and they fit so, so nicely. I'll pop them on and show you as well, but I got them in black. The only thing that I wish that Net-A-Porte did differently when you do their eco packaging, I wish they wouldn't send these. I mean, maybe there are people out there that always store their clothes in these suit carriers, but I don't. And I have so many of these and I don't know what to do with them. Yeah, I, I kind of like give them to people. I'm like, do you need a suit carrier? Here, have a suit carrier. If you know of anywhere that might do, might need suit carriers, maybe they need them at Smart Work. If so, I'm gonna ask them actually, cause that could be a good thing for them. But yeah, okay, so this is the other pair of S Sophia, Sophia trousers. I got them in nude. New trousers, yes! Such a gorgeous peachy nude. I thought these would be a little bit like boho, but also a bit more casual in this color. And you're not gonna like get how beautiful they are on screen, but I love them. These are a pair of black castanya wedges for my stepmom that I promised her I would buy her ages ago. She wanted these, these black ones. They've got them on net a -Porte. I actually bought these in Paris, but my stepmom saw them and loved them. So I picked her up a little pair here. Is Ali taking my car? Why is Ali taking my car? Well, okay, he must be taking my car somewhere. But yeah, so those are a gift for my stepmom. Then this is something I have been eyeing up for so long. You know that I am a huge fan of the brand Anna Mason. Well, I saw Anna herself wearing this jumpsuit in one of her posts. It's a huge, like, wide leg, 
denim jumpsuit with the typical high collar and puff sleeves that Anna Mason does. I'm gonna try all of this stuff on, by the way, just super quick. I saw it on there, it's got a tie waist as well, and I, I just loved it. It was so my style. Hopefully it fits me as nice as it fitted her. Just, oh, so perfect. And then, just something a little bit random, but I've been buying belts a lot recently. This is a Isabel Morant belt that's just slightly irregular that I'm gonna have to, I don't even know how this works. I hope it comes with instructions. But this is an Isabel Morant belt that's supposed to look quite sort of, like a sort of, I don't know. We'll try it on and we'll see if we can work it out. I loved it when I saw it online and I got that as well. And then finally, an item that I took out already is this Holston Heritage, is that how? Yeah, Holston Heritage jumpsuit. This is a white one shoulder jumpsuit. I feel like this is combining loads of things that I love. So it's white, it's a jumpsuit and it's one shoulder. So yeah, this haul is a, a lot of jumpsuits and a lot of trousers and a couple of accessories and that's it. But let's try these things on and then I can get on with my day. This is the Anna Mason jumpsuit and oh my gosh, she can do no wrong. I've already put this on my Insta stories because I'm utterly obsessed. I mean, obviously it's summer so it's probably not appropriate although i'll probably get to wear this in summer because we live in england but oh it's like 70s vibes but also like really ethereal with the big puffy sleeves and it just fits the dream to the floor trousers as well i don't even need to have these taken up they are perfect very very happy and you can swap out this belt as well i could probably put my christian dior belt with this and i put it with my saddlebag which i love it's also got pockets which <laughs> Perfect, but really happy with this. I'm so glad I took the plunge. It is an expensive jumpsuit and I had been looking at it for a good few weeks thinking, do I need another jumpsuit? And then I was like, you don't have a denim jumpsuit, Lydia. So you do your thing. And that is what she did. This will be linked down below as well. And let's try on the next one. So I've popped on the black trousers and these are the perfect match material wise for my silver buttoned bomber blazer, but it'll probably go fine with the gold one. The gold one's more of a wool jacket, and this one is different, but as you can see, perfect match. And they're just so flattering, like super wide leg at the bottom, covers your shoes, and still goes really nicely with the silhouette of the bomber jacket. Nice little suiting vibe, but more in my style. I love it, love it, love it. And actually, these trousers feel slightly more like stretchy than my lilac ones. So yeah, they, they fit nicer. Actually, they're a little bit more loose around the top. I have lost weight though since I bought those lilac ones. Wow, when I first put those on, they did not fit me well, unfortunately. But now, we're getting there. We are getting there. I probably wouldn't wear it with this gray t-shirt because it's a bit too formal for a t-shirt, but I just whacked it on because I didn't have anything else. But I like it undone as well. I like the jacket left open and they are super high-waisted and super flattering. So you could wear them with like a shorter top as well if you wanted to, or if you didn't want to wear a jacket, you could wear it with like a bodysuit. I thought I would show you a little bit more like detail of the trousers and the tops of them because that could be super frustrating. But yeah, they are really, really nice fitting wise, but I'm gonna try on the nude ones because you never know, they might not be that great on me. We are channeling some 70s vibes now gone for a little bit more of a feminine silhouette with these ones. So I've realized the difference between the trousers. I don't think the black ones are double lined because they're black and the fabric is denser, but the lilac ones and these nude ones are double lined. So it makes them a lot more rigid and feel slightly smaller. So these are a bit tighter, but still comfortable, but they're just tighter than the black ones. But I've put it with a little boho top that I really need to find a copy for because everyone loves this top. And I literally bought it for like 12 pounds from Pretty Little Thing, but it just goes with everything. It's such a great top and perfect length to wear these high-waisted, like literally, they work so well together. Really like these actually, really like these. I feel so boho. <laughs> but this little bombshell, oh, is the one. This makes me look like I own a yacht in Ibiza. This is just, the dream of white jumpsuits. So it's not the most figure hugging, but it's oh, so flattering and so easy to wear and so comfortable and has pockets. I mean, it's just, 
it's just ticking all of the boxes. Probably should wear a bra with it, but I don't wear a bra with anything, so that's not gonna happen. To the floor, I'm not bothering to put shoes on because I can't be bothered, and my pants are black, but just ignore that. So it's a little bit more see-through than I would like, but it is double lined, so perhaps black pants aren't the one. I did wear it on my Instagram with nude pants, and it was perfect, so don't worry about that, but I just, just don't mind me whilst I go and swan off to my yacht in Ibiza and drink cocktails in front of Cafe Del Mar, basically. And I'm gonna do my best not to ruin it with any fake tans. So this is going to be a purity gel jumpsuit only. There will never be any express worn with this. <laughs> now that I have tried everything on with you, it'll all be linked in the description box down below. I now have to change into something slightly less glamorous and I'm going to put on some scruffs so that I can start cleaning, start dusting my stairs. Oh God, I just... Makes me a little bit sick in my mouth, but I can't stand them. They are hideous. The whole house, well, the whole house doesn't need a clean. Everywhere's been cleaned except for the hallways, and I am about to go ham on cleaning those hallways and putting everything back and moving all of the furniture. And conveniently, Ali Gordon has gone out, so he won't be helping me until he gets back. I see what you did there, Mr. Millen Gordon. I see. But I'm going to crack on anyway because I can't wait. I just need to get everything back to normal now. I do out of the glamorous stuff and into a very fake tan stained vest, which I obviously wore with my express mousse when I had it and left it on and slept with this vest on. So this is my cleaning attire and let's get cracking with getting my house back. Ooh, 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 ooh. is my job for the evening. Ali is on gin and tonic making duties. I'm going to be priming the wood at the bottom, just the bottom, with the Fur and Ball White and Light Tones Interior Wood Primer and Undercoat. My utility room is not looking its best right now because we're actually using it and when you actually use a utility room it ends up looking a little bit like this. So that's my pile full of dressing gowns and then that's Ali's pile full of shorts and no tops because he never wears a top. Also over here are some fabric that I picked up from a local fabric shop and I didn't even realize when I ordered them the GP and J Baker apparently that is my favorite fabric brand because all of them are from there I love this this is just so beautiful yet still feels quite rustic so I think I'm gonna have to get some of these cushions but one of my favorite types of fabrics are these kind of linen voils like this one is stunning I'd actually frame that in fact I might end up framing that how sad am I? I also loved this one as well. This is very, very cute, but this would need to be layered over something. So yeah, anyway, I've got a job to do. So I'm going to crack on and prime this and get it ready to look at least a little bit more presentable. But I don't know whether I've, no, I haven't mentioned on here. This is all being customized, this radiator cover. We're gonna get rid of the inserts. These like white inserts are gonna come out. I'm buying some antique brass custom grills to go in here just to change it up a little bit because we were gonna have the cast iron rads. Hold on, let me go upstairs and show you before I start doing this. So this is how the radiator cover fixes to our old radiator. We were going to put cast iron rads up here. We looked at it because Ali actually has a cast iron rad in his room already, which looks really, really nice. Personally, I don't love cast iron rads on carpet. I've just, it just doesn't really appeal to me. So we didn't really think that this was the right area to have a cast iron radiator. So we went for a really cheap um, radiator cover, but we knew that we were gonna like customize it, make it look a little bit more fitted, add some decorative finishes to it. And I actually looked up decorative grills online. So I need to order those tonight. It also just makes a little bit of a statement of this window because we're not really using this area for anything. I know people always say to turn this into a little bit of a bookcase area, but seriously, how many bookcases can one house have? <laughs> I don't have enough books, okay? So they just sit empty and I make them all look pretty. So I'm gonna go and paint this and then I'm gonna sit down and order those inserts because I actually need to do that. Mr. Millen Gordon is on gin making duty. Got beers for the lads. Ooh, hey. So whilst this dries, I am going to start on the rest of this floor because I've pretty much done on the third floor. 
so this can just dry and Ali can fit it back up and uh, yeah we definitely need a panel there <laughs> So this is where we are at in our hallway, but um, I'm gonna put the lampshades back on. I'm just gonna balance them on because we're not completely finished. Obviously everything still needs to be painted. Andy needs to do some filling and yeah, but I just want to have my home back to being my home for the weekend and then next week everything should be sorted. My little egg head, my little egg head, you make me happy when skies are grey. Mr. Millen Gordon has finally finished his work for the day. So he's fitting the radiator cover that I painted back in its place. Oh, it already looks so much better just with that painted. Or this. Yeah. Very nice. What do you think, Winky? You went that quick? There's no way you went that that quickly. Ciao, Pippolino. Now we have to think what we're going to put here. Yeah, I think distressed mirror is not a bad idea. Antique yeah. glass uh, mirror. Yeah. Okay. Whilst Ali is hoovering, I have decided that this should live on the radiator cover. I didn't know where to put this, but it's going up there. I think the warmth of the gold adds a little something something to it. So I'm going to... Oh, wow. Oh, okay. So... <gasps> Goodness me. Nothing. There we go. Mr. Millen Gordon taking the hoovers down and getting out of my way whilst I show you probably the best feel for this area that I've ever been able to give you. I think that so many people have doubted my vision on this and now I'm going to start getting even more messages that just say, okay, now I see what you were doing there. This carpet so many people were like, you're making it, you're making the wrong choice. It's not going to look good. It's going to be too warm. But because of the monochrome feel in this area, this carpet is needed. Like it's essential to stop this area from feeling stark. And I am utterly obsessed with it. I love the fact that it's just like totally imperfect, even though it's got the gorgeous weave. And I went for the really chunky weave. That was something I hadn't seen on Pinterest. So I was really going into this quite blind. Everything had a really thin Cecil type of finish to it. And I wanted this chunky weave because it's so much kinder on your feet, but also it just gives such a great texture to the area. I'd never seen a runner like this. And honestly, I didn't know what I was doing, but now seeing this vision down the stairs, it is absolutely perfect. So I really did take a bit of a leap of faith with this area, but I'm so, so happy with how it is looking and everywhere is starting to look so much more cohesive and I'm just over the moon. Now obviously when we replace the grills for the radiator cover with something warmer, we'll introduce some more warmer tones up here. So I want to put maybe some picture frames here, like two there and one there and then maybe an antique mirror here. I am absolutely obsessed with antique mirror and I actually don't have any in my house at the moment. So we need to, we need to change that. And I think that'll look really nice hanging over the staircase like that. Look who has graced us with her presence, her Royal Highness, the princess of the palace. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? We haven't cleaned downstairs for you, love. So, we are getting there. We are making progress. My stands are there, although Ali still has not cable tied to the legs. We will get him to do that. I'm about to use my super duper poop scooper mop 
from Vorwork, you know that I am utterly obsessed with this. How obsessed is Mummy with this, this mop? Lumi, answer me when I'm speaking to you. You just want to go out, don't you? Look at your face. Look at it. Look at you, you're so beautiful. You know that? So beautiful, so beautiful. All right, you want to go? You go play. Go play with your friends. Go play with your friends. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. This little area is now looking at its best and it's got its new arrangement from Artifact Flowers. This was a, a piece that I chose from their new collection because it's got these like twiggy little bits in it and yeah, it's still got roses. Oh my God, the roses feel so real. <gasps> wow. But they just do the best arrangements and I wanted a sort of coppery brass colored vase to go here just to warm it up and that is all dressed. I haven't actually been downstairs yet and seen it with the dado, so. Oh wow. Oh my God, it's such a mess. <laughs> this needs to be cleaned up. We're waiting for some picture lights to go up there and then we're gonna have two frames from our wedding on there. It looks so good. Oh, like a completely different space. I can't believe it. What you wanted? Is that what you wanted? That's what you wanted, wasn't it? Everyone, this is um, one of those vlogs where everything is just a little bit all over the place. Um, I'm going to be doing a blog post on this makeup look, so uh, go over and check my blog. It might be up already, so um, I'll pop a link in the description box. But I've had more stuff arrive. There is oh my wedding bands. I need to put those on. More stuff has arrived in the house. Um, so I really did have to have a very quick um, clear out. So I've got a bag of clothing. Oh, okay, I actually can't get it out because it's, um, it's at the back of the wardrobe and I'm waiting for the address. So I've got a big bin liner of um, stuff ready to go, but it's at the back of the wardrobe, my big like storage wardrobe at the back. Um, and I can't get it out and I just, I'm waiting for the address to send it, but it's just a huge bin bag of clothes. All like, most of it has like tags on still and um, really lovely stuff. And then I've also got a big bag of beauty stuff that like is stuff that isn't opened. So that can go to them, have a little bit of a sort out. Um, but the thing that I was talking about was the bags that I have to send to Smartworks. I love bags and um, I save my money to be able to buy them. It's not like it's like a, an unthought out purchase. Like I, I love my bags. Um, I particularly love really small bags. That's my little, like, I don't know, I'm just obsessed with small bags. And um, so a lot of my bags aren't workwear appropriate. But when they said that they had a shortage of bags, I knew instantly, I was like, these two bags, like they're, they're something that play on my mind quite often because I have them and I love them. And I was so incredibly lucky to be gifted them. And I always said when I got them, I was like, I'm not ever gonna like use these they're sort of a memento and I was like they are work bags and these bags could change or be part of changing someone's life so I really it was just sort of like a, I'm not going to use them because they were so special but in the same breath these could be special to someone else and you probably haven't seen them around the room because I also in my wardrobes have handbag storage as well so um, you don't actually see all of my bags, but uh, these two in particular are in there and they just kind of play on my mind and I would rather have this amazing opportunity to send them to Smartworks and make someone else's experience and life that little bit more special because if we all think about how a pair of shoes or a, or a handbag makes us feel, I literally, I, I love my designer handbags and I am so incredibly lucky to be able to give someone else that feeling. So yeah, that's basically what it is. But I just don't want you to think that like when I'm like selling handbags or whatever, that I could send them onto Smartworks. Like I always look at the bag and I'm like, is it workwear appropriate? First and foremost. And a lot of my bags are not suitable, point blank, for work. So anyway, the two bags that I'm going to be sending to 
Smartworks are from Mulberry. I've never used it, it's still got the plastic on it because this was just like such a moment, I couldn't believe it. And I still can't believe it, but I also have my Mulberry bag that I love and I've got my red one, it's just over there. And this could really make a difference in someone's life. So this one is in particular going, it's a perfect work size handbag. Like you can fit your like MacBook or your laptop or, or your iPad or whatever in here. You can have a book in there for on your train journeys to work. It'll be perfect. So there's that one. And then also hidden up here is this one. And I just think that this is such a perfect workwear bag that this would make such a difference in someone's life. I'm able to sort of give someone the feeling that I get from the bags that I love and I'm going to be sending these two to Smartworks as well. Obviously if there are any other bags I have that um, can go to them then I will always do that but just rest assured that there are certain bags that I will always sell um, but these ones are just too perfect and um, such a special piece and seeing like how Antigone got so excited I just knew that I wanted to, to, to send these over there so they will be going with the clothes and the big bag of um, beauty products as well so super exciting stuff as you can see more stuff has been arriving I am rushing around like a mad woman today so um, I'm going to leave this vlog here so thank you so so much um, I'll see you in my next video which um, what is coming what's coming next I have no idea but everything will be linked in the description box down below and any videos and blog posts that I've referenced you'll be able to find them there as well so thank you so much for watching <laughs>